Hi, I'm Christina Cloverdance, Chief Sustainability Officer at MasterCard, and we're here in Glasgow at COP26, and I'm here with Jad Daly. Jad, would you introduce yourselves um, to to our audience? Absolutely. I'm Jad Daly, I'm President and CEO of American Forests, the nation's oldest forest conservation organization, founded in 1875. Uh, but also, Christina, really importantly with you, uh, helping to lead the U.S. chapter of 1T.org, bringing everyone in America together from Girl Scouts to governments to work for this amazing goal of a trillion trees by 2030. I mean, yes, you were wearing multiple hats. And so, first of all, a big thank you. And so MasterCard, last year we created what we call the Priceless Planet Coalition and committed to plant 100 million trees around the globe in five years. But it's bigger than any one of us. And so if you heard that word coalition, we now have over 80 companies that are part of the Priceless Planet Coalition with us. What we know is that nature matters, that science matters, and that business has a role to play. It's critically important that we do this right. And so let's talk for a minute about 1T.org and what we're doing of bringing not just the private sector together, but it takes all sectors and how we can really help drive the scale and the speed together. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Christina, look, a, a trillion trees is going to take billions of hands around the world. And there's a strength in diversity and inclusion in everything. And that's including in the forest movement. And so what I'm so excited about, as you said, we have unprecedented corporate leadership coming together. We're able to show the totality of that work and the potential that it creates, but then by connecting it over to what governments are doing, to what civil society organizations are doing, we can do a better job of creating synergy among all those efforts. And we can get the attention of the world and say, hey, we're, there's a reason why we're all uh, you know, coming together around trees and forests as a solution, not just to slow climate change, but to protect us from its impacts, to deal with our global biodiversity crisis, and to give us natural security into the future. Uh, you know, this is something that's got, it's got something for everyone, so there's no wonder that we've got everyone on board, and we've now connected them together so we can be better as a movement. So if there is someone who is wondering, should they join 1T.org, why would they join, what would you say? I can answer that question. They definitely want to join 1T.org. You want to join 1T.org. And, uh, and, and, and so you know, there are really a few things that we hope folks get out of being part of this. One is uh, there's a power of the pack in terms of inspiring each other and, and everyone is really stretching to do more um, because of coming into 1T.org. We've seen that again and again. Uh, but also we, our voice is louder and stronger when we bring it together. Uh, you know, we, we reached, uh, a f we had 488 media uh, hits reaching uh, over 170 million people around the globe at the original launch of the U.S. chapter of 1T.org. Just one small example of how, when we speak with one voice, we can get the world's attention. And I don't think it's a coincidence, Christina, that we're sitting here right now with the U.S. Congress having just approved in this uh, bipartisan infrastructure bill $8.6 billion to invest in forests as a solution for climate change and so much more. And we've got $30 billion more dollars in this Build Back Better Act that's um, right behind it. Uh, and, and I think that that uh, willingness from our political leaders to match what the private sector is yeah. doing uh, is because we're showing it as a movement and they're seeing the potential and they're seeing the urgency that we all feel uh, for making this investment. That's exactly. And so it isn't just what one company can do. And the Priceless Planet Coalition, as I mentioned, we have over 80. But with 1T.org and the U.S. chapter, we have what you just heard Jad talk about. And that together we can drive more. But then it's actually global. And so this is where we need all of us. So if we bring it back here to COP, one of the things that has been, I think, a first is the intersection of nature and climate at this COP. And how do you see also, we've had enormous response from the business community. So business and nature at this COP. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Actually, I, I wrote a piece uh, saying that forests must lead at COP26 that was uh, in the World Economic Forum's agenda blog. And I was like, well, check that one off the agenda. We, 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 are, we are there. This has been uh, an incredible uh, convergence around forests as not a side skirmish in uh, uh, solving climate change, uh, but to actually being uh, a central strategy. And I, and I think that what's interesting to me about what's happening is we're all realizing that if we're going to get that full potential, it's about not just 
doing more, but we need to do it better. And I think that's really an important thing that's happening within 1T.org is yes, we're drawing everyone in, we're amplifying, we're raising up ambition, we're putting in more resources, but we've also created now a, a global community of practice of all the people who are trying to figure out how to do this work, whether it's planting trees in cities to save folks from extreme heat, uh, or whether it's how do we create climate resilient landscapes uh, in places where right now wildfire is really hurting our forests driven by climate change. And so just to have this learning environment that we've created uh, so we can all do more and do it better, uh, it's a big part of what 1T.org is, is all about. And I think it's a big part of what we're, we're really discovering together as a community here in uh, COP26. And that's a perfect way to wrap it up. When I reflect on the first week of COP here, yes, it's been this um, incredible presence of business, the convergence of nature and climate, the commitments leading up to Glasgow from governments, from companies has been phenomenal, as well as the commitments we heard last week. But we've also heard is that commitments are insufficient if they don't take action, if they don't have action. And so it needs to be at speed and at scale. And the only way we're going to get there is collectively together. Right. So Jad, thanks so much for your partnership. And as we leave here in another week, it will not only be the road to Glasgow, but the road from Glasgow. Absolutely right. Thanks so much. Thanks.